In this video, I'm going over computer groups in Azure Log Analytics. Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going over computer groups in Azure Log Analytics. Honestly, this is a feature I've overlooked for quite some time. Computer groups can be created in log analytics and used for log searches later on. I didn't get the point because you can do the same search in your actual searches, so why create a computer group for a search? However, this week I noticed computer groups popping up in a couple other spots and I thought I would take another look. This video is going over a few of the places computer groups can be used. A quick level set before I dig in. What are computer groups in log analytics? Computer groups can be used to scope searches in log analytics. They can also be used to scope solutions in log analytics. This is what piqued my interest. Log collection, retention, and access control are all scoped at the workspace in log analytics. By scoping solution, you can further narrow down what computers those solutions are applied to. I should point out that not all solutions allow for scoping. Computer groups are also used in Azure Monitor. I'll go over that later. So how are these created? Groups can be based off from a log search, AD, SCCM, or Windows Server Update Services. I don't have SCCM or Windows Update Server running in my lab, and quite frankly, I don't want to. Uh, so I'm going over the first two only. So let's move on to demos. All right, let's get started with some demos. Everybody buckled up? Uh, let's go. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm creating two uh, queries. So this one is going to query all the computers that contain DC. It's also going to return uh, this uses this distinct operator. So it is only going to return uh, one instance of each computer it finds with the DC in the name. So if I hit shift and enter to run that, you can see it's just returning to uh, servers. And these are my domain controllers within my environment. You'll see if I take that out, it's going to query heartbeat and it's going to find a lot more entries because that's retrieving entries every every uh, couple minutes. And I have the same thing down here, only I'm much more specific. I'm creating a query that's going to find one computer. And there it is. And that's my... Uh, going to be my group of one. So with the uh, queries for the group membership established, let's go in and create the groups. So we need to save this query as a group. And we do that by going into save, but not here. At the time of the recording, the new uh, log search interface does not support uh, creating groups from a search. We can hit save, but there's no option to actually create a group. So I'm going to go over to another window. We'll just go right in here, and I'm going to go into the classic logs. That's the old search interface. Um, it's missing some features of the new, but the new is missing a couple of features. They're not quite blended yet. So we can go in and paste my search into here. There it goes. Okay, but I didn't need to do that, so that was kind of a waste of time. All I need to do is go into save search, and I'm going to add one. And I'm going to call this one, let's see, which one did I copy? Yeah, DCs. So I'm going to create a group called DCs. And I'll put this in the category of servers. And I'm going to paste that query in here again. And it's looking for a function alias. And we're just going to call that DCs. And I'm going to save this query as a computer group. So by doing that, I am now creating a computer group based on that query. Every time I call that computer group, that query will run and pull back the computers into it. So in a way that is just, it's like adding a function, really. I'm gonna go here and copy in this one so you don't have to watch me type. And I'm gonna create a second group. And this is gonna be a group of one. We'll call this win 10. I'll add it to the servers category, although it's clearly not a server. A lot of the entries just like the other one, and then we'll save that search or save that query as a computer group as well. All right, now that that's done, let's go back to my workspace and we're going to go into advanced settings. And you can guess it, computer groups. And you can see here my save searches. So if I wanted to actually search on that, I could click that and it'll pull it up. 
but I'm going to go back into my workspace and we'll go back into advanced settings. And let's take a look at Active Directory. So you can see here by checking this box, I'm going to import Active Directory group membership for computers. So it's going to evaluate the computers that are in Log Analytics for their group membership and then dynamically add that in uh, as uh, groups that we can search against. This doesn't happen immediately. It does take up to uh, four hours, I think. It refreshes every four hours, I believe is what the documentation said. But if I hit save, you can see now it's showing me that it, two computers with group membership have been detected and four groups are imported. So let's search against some of these and see what we can come up with. I'm going to do that by going back to my log search here. And let's search for uh, computers in the query-based uh, computer group. So if I do heartbeat, and then we'll go to where the computer is in. Whoops. Let's do DCS. So there it goes. It's showing all of the computers with heartbeat that are in DCS. And there's probably, there's like 30 pages of that. So let's do something different to get back a smaller result set. Let's do update summary. There we go. Okay, so that's a smaller set of data. And you can see now it's only returning DC1 because DC1 is the only one that has updates. So let's go back to Heartbeat and just because we want to see what computers it's going to pull back, let's go Distinct and Computer. There it goes. So now it's showing the two computers in that group, which is kind of exactly query that I ran in the first place. But you get the point. Now I can use that DC's, uh, uh, DC's query as a basis for other queries. So if I added three or four more domain controllers or computers with the name DC in it, they would be added automatically into these queries. And if I change this to Win10, we'll get the same. Okay, next I'm going to create another query. I'm just gonna paste it in. Okay, so there's the uh, query that I'm gonna run and it's gonna target the group domain computers and it's just going to return back all the computers. And there it ran, but let's do uh, something a little different. Actually, if I go in to my DCs, we can see that they're a member of this uh, group called CIR DCs. So let's change the group to that. And now you can see it's pulling back one of them. That group did return um, one of the two computers that is in the CIR DC's Active Directory group. Group membership is evaluated every four hours, so that's probably why we're not seeing the other computers in this group. Okay, for the next item, what we're going to do is I'm just going to remove this distinct and run this query. Because I want to show... Uh, one of the elements here is the solutions. Oops. So you can see this this computer, so it's going to be uh, Win10, because that's what I'm targeting with the query. It's a member of the solutions update, change tracking, AD assessment, and Azure automation. Now, it is not a domain controller, so it does not need to be part of AD assessment. So the way we're going to fix that is go back into here, and then we're going to go to solutions. So this is in the um, our log analytics workspace. We'll go to solutions and AD assessment and solution scoping. Okay, so I'm going to add a scope configuration. We'll call this domain controller. And we'll select that group of DCs. So that's going to be all of the computers with DCs in the name. Uh, it would be better to do this, uh, maybe domain controllers. That would be more dynamic. 
uh, but this group is created. So for the purpose of the demo, I'm going to leave it there. And then we'll click OK. And now it's initializing, so uh, it's going to apply that. It hasn't been applied yet. So I'm going to come back to view the properties of Win10. Uh, Win10 should not list that as a solution once this is done. However, that is how you uh, scope a solution to a group. And as I mentioned before, uh, not all solutions have the ability to scope like that. But in the case of this, uh, you can scope it to just domain controllers. Thanks to the miracle of editing, I can come back and show you that the solution scoping did work. If I click here, we can see now, looking at the properties of the Windows 10 machine, Well, I'll attempt to do it. There we go. Um, it's under. It's now part of updates, change tracking, and Azure automation, but it is no longer part of the AD uh, solution that I have installed. So that just confirms that that solution scoping does work. Here's what got me really intrigued with groups. Azure seems to be expanding their use outside of scoping solutions and into monitoring areas. So if we go into Azure Monitor, and we're gonna to go to Virtual Machines, and Performance. This shows me the um, top chart. Uh, I also have an aggregate chart view and a top list. So one thing that really caught my attention though is if we go into here we can switch to the groups that I created uh, in log analytics and then we can filter down based on the different group memberships within that log or within that computer group so that's a way in addition to searching and scoping where you can use these computer groups in log analytics although uh, Monitor is tied in to log analytics, so it kind of makes sense that it would be available there, but it is interesting that it's available outside of log analytics. Okay, one other spot where it can be used uh, is under Azure Automation. I'm going to go into, I think this is the right one, Update Management. So I have two compliant. If I go into Schedule an Update, and we're gonna go into this options, machines to update. And here you can see um, DCs and Win10 are both options that are available to deploy updates to. Let's see what happens when I click this imported group. Okay, yeah, you can see that it also shows now uh, under AD, I've got the domain controllers, I've got uh, a couple other default groups here. Um, domain computers, and then this uh, CIR, CIR DCs that I created just for the purpose of this uh, demo. So that's another spot where these computer groups and uh, even importing AD groups into log analytics can be leveraged outside of log analytics searching itself. So I hope you found that informative. Um, if you do, please don't forget to subscribe and like, and you can follow me on Twitter at Seraltos. Thanks for watching.